good morning everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 Unfiltered. Coming at you with an interesting video for you today. Uh, I, I gotta warn you, uh, this video will contain some graphic audio. Okay, graphic audio. So if you're not into that, if you're squeamish or something like that, please turn this video off if you don't like graphic audio. Okay, so with that being said, let me get to the point. There was a man in China who did not, he wanted to go to the zoo, but he didn't want to pay the admission fee to get into the zoo. So he decided that he was going to sneak in to the zoo. I guess he jumped the fence or something like that. I don't know all the details, but from what I understand, the guy ended up in the tiger cage and uh, he got mauled by the tigers. So, I was kind of frustrated when I watched that video. It's kind of, uh, kind of hard to watch. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll in the audio right now to let you hear the sound of what's going on. So again, folks, if you're squeamish, please turn this video off. It'll be a black screen with the audio of the incident. And then after the audio runs, I'll talk about my thoughts on what happened. That was pretty intense, wasn't it? If you want to see the full videos, please check the description box down below and you can watch the videos. Uh, again, folks, they're, they're very graphic. There's two of them down there. And uh, I had to put them on my channel as unlisted videos because I don't want to broadcast them to the, everybody's feed. Uh, so if, if you want to watch them, you have to have the links to them. If you want to share them to one of your friends or something like that, uh, you'll have to have the link to the video. So my thoughts on the situation, first of all, why did the guy not want to pay the five dollars to enter you know, the zoo? I mean, just pay the five bucks and go into the zoo the right way, dude. You know, he ended up paying for it with his life, obviously, you could, you could uh, probably see. And if you haven't seen, the videos are down below. Again, they're graphic. So he decided that he wanted to save money. It wasn't worth it, right? My thoughts are, you know, everybody's mad at the Tigers, and I don't understand why everybody's mad at the Tigers. They did not do anything wrong, in my opinion. They're Tigers. They're predators. And he was in their, in their realm. And when the uh, people, you know, and he was brushing off the Tiger and kicking it and slapping it, first of all, he should have never been in that darn cage with those Tigers. That's the first, that's the biggest one right there. And then the fact that he did get in there, uh, he should have been very submissive to the tiger. I don't know if that would have worked or not, though, to be completely honest with you. I'm not an animal expert, but I think slapping the tigers and kind of getting this challenging kind of, uh, uh, what do they call that, uh, body language, I guess. The tigers read that, and I think they felt like he's challenging them. You know, he's trying to, even though he's just fending them off, but he was like kicking the tiger and uh, in the first video it kind of showed that. But what I think what triggered the tiger into attack mode was when the zookeepers started shooting the uh, firearms and the explosions and things like that. When the first round went off, it was not a well-placed round that took the tiger out, the one that was gnawing on him in the beginning. I don't think that one in the beginning was going to kill him. I think he was just kind of showing his dominance, I guess. But when the rounds started going off and the explosions and all the excitement got 
risen, I believe that the Tigers felt like this man has something to do with this. Let's take him out. He's gonna. Uh, he's here to hurt our family. We got to protect ourselves, and I think that's what the Tiger did. I don't think. Uh, so, I don't think it was the Tiger's fault. I think the people. Uh, and, I, and again, we all know that I'm on team people, but you know, if you look at it in a non-biased way like that, and you think about what if what if it was our cage and somebody was in our thing and they're they're you know aliens for example or something and they're messing with us of course we're going to take that dude out because we know that he's connected to those others i don't think the tigers did anything wrong i really don't and now the tiger has to die because the man was stupid jumped the fence because he didn't want to pay five dollars oh that's my thoughts it's a good thing i have an unfiltered channel so again, folks, uh, please let me know what your thoughts are uh, down below. I'd like to hear them. And uh, if you're on board with my idea or not, or if you have expertise in the animal kingdom or, you know, something like that, maybe maybe try to explain it to me because uh, that's just my uh, opinion of what happened and why the tiger lashed out like that. I don't know. I could be right. I could be wrong. Uh, but that's what makes this thing uh, kind of cool. We get to talk about it and discuss it again. Uh, if you're going to watch those videos, if you're squeamish, don't do it because it shows the guy dying. So uh, with that being said, I want to say thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, again, leave your comments down below. Like this video. Share this video. And the videos down in the description box down below. If you're going to share them to someone, please make sure that they're not squeamish. And if, they, and if you do share them, make sure they know that they're graphic. So with that being said... Uh, I guess I'll get out of here. Have a beautiful day. We'll talk to you next time unfiltered. Later.